you know, you can always tell the size of a breakthrough or blessing by the warfare that you have to go through. There's so much um, acceleration, uh, advancement, and promotion that is going on right now that the warfare, oh, and by the way, it's not a uh, low level, right? It's not just a little tiny breakthrough. It's not just um, a small blessing. Or maybe you just need a bill paid and the Lord sends you um, the resources you need to pay that bill. Or maybe you just need um, something small, right? Maybe you need a small breakthrough. No, there's so much huge, big, high level stuff that God wants to really just push through in your life right now. And I would, you know, even use uh, the three words that I just said, advancement, acceleration, and promotion. These are things that aren't just small things. These are big things. These are things that um, likely won't just stop with you. These are things that will trickle over into other people who are in your life, right? Where you can be a blessing to others. These are things that will possibly break generational curses off of your life. These are things that will shift you into further into your destiny. These are things that maybe you've been praying about for years, for a really long time. These are major, huge breakthroughs. And the reason why I'm really painting the picture for you here is because before any of these big major things happen, and you may not even see it on the horizon, but before any of these big major things happen, there's always extreme, heavy, tense, thick warfare. The enemy's not going to let you access it without a fight. He's not going to let you access, access it without a fight. And that's how you know it's right around the corner. That's how you know that the acceleration, the promotion, and the advancement is right around the corner. As if you're experiencing intense, thick spiritual warfare. And I'm just, I wanted to put up this message to share with you all that it's right around the corner. If you just pray and lean into God and really just focus on um, being in the secret place with God, getting with God, don't short God on spending time with him. Don't slack off in having intimacy with him, with the Holy Spirit. Make sure that you're spending time praising God and thanking him for the things that you do have and for where he's taking you. Do not, and I'm telling you this because it's so important that during this time, if you're one of these people who is experiencing intense warfare, it's so important that you prioritize spending time with God because that is how you're going to break through. That is how you're going to keep your sanity in the process of all of the thick warfare that's going on. And it's so interesting, um, you know, the, the reason that I make, so when I come out with these messages, sometimes I'm speaking prophetically to you here, sometimes it's just words of wisdom, and sometimes I'm just encouraging people based off something the Lord has downloaded into my spirit, or something that I'm seeing a pattern of, something that maybe someone asked a question about. But this time, this is something that I have been sensing prophetically in the realm of the spirit that's been going on with a lot of people, where I have just felt in atmospheres really thick warfare going on. And I want you to confirm it below if this is something that you're going through. Because I know that when the Lord shows me something, when he allows me to experience something as heavy as I have, especially in the sense of, um, you, uh, especially in the sense of me coming out to speak prophetically to you here, that it's something a lot of people are experiencing. It's something a lot of people are going through. So confirm it in the comments if this is you. But what I'm saying is this is something that the Lord is really pressing into right now. He doesn't want you to focus on the warfare. He doesn't want you to focus on the confusion. He doesn't want you to focus on the chaos. Really own in and focus on the Lord. What does he want you to do right now? Where is he taking you? Really focus on that. Because I'm telling you, the acceleration, the promotion, and the advancement is right around the corner. It's going to be so big. It's going to be so big that it far exceeds just you. Because whenever God does something this big, it's never just about you. It's never just about you. He's a big picture God and he does things with purpose that trickles over into other people who you will affect. Whether that be your uh, children, whether that be your friends, whether that be your coworkers or family, whether that be people who are just watching you that you don't even know. But it's never just about you. But if you are experiencing intense warfare, know that 
what you've been asking for, what God has been trying to get to you is right around the corner. And that's the only reason why the warfare has come. Press into God with your praise. Really give him, don't short him on the t on spending time with him. Really um, make sure that you're pressing into um, being intentional about being intimate with God, having that intimate time and connection with him. Because I'm telling you, that's how you're going to push through. And I like God has given me a visual representation of being you being in a storm and in this storm it's so dark this the clouds have come so low and it's circling around you you cannot see anything that's how thick the clouds are that's how thick the smog is you're, you're you know you can't see anything it's so dark right but when you begin to focus on god when you begin to give him that time and press into being intimate with him and being in the secret place and really just um focusing on your relationship with him, giving him your praise and your time. Do this on a daily basis, especially if you're going through spiritual warfare. I'm telling you, within that storm, as the clouds are circling and it's dark and you can't see anything, you're going to begin to feel yourself being grounded on God, which is the solid rock. You're going to begin to see the light, which is the Lord. You're going to be able to see through the thick clouds, the thick storm, the warfare, you're going to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm telling you. So I love you all. I really want to put this message out <clears throat> today. Um, and I want to say a quick prayer for you. Lord, we all gather here together before you. And I thank you for sending them to this message because I know that they wouldn't be listening to this right now. They wouldn't even have made it all, um, all the way to the end of this if it was not something in it for them. If you did not want them to get this word or this prayer. I thank you for each and every one of them. And we want to thank you as well for where you're taking them. I ask that you will begin to guide them into that secret place. Really just silence their hearts and their minds. We know that in times of warfare, in times of, in seasons of acceleration, promotion, and advancement, that there is a lot of warfare going on. And that means there's a lot of chaos. There's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of a restlessness. There's a lot of double-mindedness. There's a lot of things going on in their mind, Lord God, because we know that in times of warfare, the enemy attacks the mind like no other time, like no other thing. So we ask that you begin to guide them into your secret place, into a place of an etern uh, internal rest uh, in you, Lord God. And I ask that you will just quiet their hearts and their minds and allow them and help them and guide them into perfect alignment with you. Allow them to be in perfect alignment with you, perfect step with you, Lord God, so that they can feel themselves being grounded and standed on the solid rock, which is you. I ask that you will keep your Holy Spirit with them. Keep your Holy Spirit dwelling in and around them so that even though they may be going through spiritual warfare because the advancement, the promotion, and the... Um, just what you have for them is it's right around the corner, Lord God. I ask that you will help them to keep their, their eyes focused on you until they receive the breakthrough, Lord God. And even after they receive the breakthrough, I ask that you stay in perfect alignment with them. Continue to guide them in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, I love you all. There's many resources for you below. As I always share, I ask that you share this message. I ask that you will subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll talk with you all in the next message. I'll continue praying for you.